to find the magnetic field produced by a long straight current, a distance r away, we can use this equation, B equals to mu naught i over 2 pi r, which means the strength of the field is proportional to the current and inversely proportional to the distance r, where the mu naught is this value here. It makes sense for the magnetic field to be mu naught i divided by this 2 pi r because uh, the magnetic field lines produced by a long straight current, they are circles around the current. So when we're closer to the current, the kind of the, like the magnetic strength is spread out onto a small circle. When it's farther away, it's spread out onto a bigger circle and the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. Let's say we have two long straight currents perpendicular to the page. This current goes uh, out of the page. This one goes uh, into the page. And the two currents are at the opposite corners of a square. Each side of the square is L. And we're looking for the magnetic field, the magnitude and direction of the magnetic field at the center of the square and at this corner of the square. For the direction of the magnetic field produced by this current over there, we can use the sum to follow the current and on that side, the magnetic field should be clockwise and a tangent to this circle. So the magnetic field should go that way. The magnetic field produced by that current over here, since the current comes out of the paper, the magnetic field lines will go counterclockwise. So the magnetic field lines should be counterclockwise and tangent to the circle. So these two magnetic fields will be in the same direction. So we'll have to add the magnitudes together. And because that's the same amount of current and equal distance away, these two must have the same magnitude. So let's see. The magnetic field over there at the center would be the magnetic field produced by one current. That's mu naught i over 2 pi r. What is the distance between the current and the center of the square? The side of the square is L. That means that the entire diagonal would be the L times square root 2. And this distance here is half that diagonal. So it is L times square root of 2 divided by 2. And uh, these two, they have the same magnitude and the same direction, so we're going to have to multiply by 2 to get the strength of the field. So if we simplify this, uh, at the center, the magnetic field is uh, this much. Now let's look at the field o over here at this corner. If we use our thumb to follow the current, this one gives us a magnetic field that's a clockwise tangent to this circle. So this magnetic field will go down. And that magnetic field would be counterclockwise tangent to the circle. So that one would go that way. And again, the current is the same amount, same uh, distance away. So these two would have the same magnitude, which means that if I make a parallelogram to add these two vectors together, I would, use have, I would have a square. And the diagonal is the sum. So we can first find the magnetic field produced by one current, which will be the mu naught i over 2 pi r, and the r would be L. And then to get the diagonal, we just have to multiply this by square root 2 to get the strength of the magnetic field. We also have done problems like this. So let's say we have two parallel currents. i1 and i2 both have length L and they are the distance r away. And now we're looking for the magnetic force acting on I2 by I1. There is a magnetic force acting on I2 by I1 because a long straight current produces a magnetic field around it. And this I2 will be sitting in the magnetic field produced by I1. Since we have a current in the magnetic field, there will be a magnetic force acting on this current. So the magnetic force acting on this current in the magnetic field would be ILB. And this magnetic field it is in is the magnetic field produced by the I1. 
and th in this case, uh, we have sine 90 degrees because uh, the magnetic field produced by the I1 over here, where I2 is, it would go into the paper. So the magnetic field over here is into the paper, which is perpendicular to the direction of L. So that's why we have sine 90 degrees, which is 1. And let's see, I2 has the length L in this magnetic field produced by I1, and I1 is a long straight current, so B1 is mu naught I1 over 2 pi r. So this is the magnitude of the magnetic force acting on I2 by I1. Of course, the magnetic force on I1 by I2 will be the same amount because the two would uh, exert magnetic force on each other, and those two forces, they are a pair of action force and reaction force. That means they are equal and opposite. And was, you can see that the magnetic force between the two currents will be proportional to I1 times I2, proportional to the length of the wire, and uh, inversely proportional to the distance. As for the direction of the magnetic force, we can say L cross B, so it's uh, I L cross B, the L goes this way in a magnetic field that goes into the board, so the magnetic force on I2 goes to the left. And that means uh, the magnetic force on I1 would be equal and opposite, which means uh, these two currents, they would attract each other. If they are in opposite directions, the magnetic force will be outward. That means uh, they would repel each other.